It's good to have you back on the channel. As many of us have been working to retool, rethink, and reinvent our day-to-day -day operations in an effort to bring in some sort of income using our existing skills and tools, for many of us, that has meant assembling ad hoc production and control environments at home and in offices or warehouses that were never designed with that kind of use in mind. So I know firsthand some of the challenges that come with working from home and how a simple task like running audio from one room to another can become a real headache when the space just isn't designed for it. One of the things that does make it easier has been using audio over Cat5 products, uh, a lot of them from Sound Tools, obviously, uh, to help eliminate as much of the cabling as possible down to single cat5 runs and that really has been an advantage being able to put in things to do splits and just basically send balanced audio around the house uh, without lots of headaches or real thick snake cables getting in the way so once you know for sure though that a room is going to be used for production whether you're doing a podcast shooting youtube videos or things like that you might want to eliminate running the cat5 cable through the hallways up and down stairs and just go ahead and install some patch panels. And in the past, installing patch panels has often meant running pretty thick cable through the wall. And now we can do it all with pretty simple standard shielded Cat5 or better cable. And this is an example of the new WallCat 8. They've had the WallCat 4 or just the WallCat out for a little while now. And this is the WallCat 8. And these two rows, male and female of XLRs are just in parallel. So it makes a really nice little spot to get four channels going in either direction. And then on the other end, uh, I'm down in a basement workshop. So mounting this somewhere up in the house, a bathroom, uh, an extra bedroom you want to use for podcasting and then having the other end can terminate to another panel like this or to any number of other of uh, the sound tools audio over cat five uh, products so i've got cat tails and i've got a male and a female cat box in the background there and all of these are plugged in together right now in parallel so there's a male a female another female cat tails and then this wall cat eight which is connected with the dual connectors, Amphenol connectors there on the back. I've just pulled the boot back on a Sound Tools cable, but this is just normal shielded Cat5 from Amazon, just the normal shielded stuff, and it works just fine. So you could send audio either direction, you can split, uh, you can plug audio in here uh, to send back to a control room and have that through for a local monitor or amplifier. So really nice solution uh, for a podcast studio, something like that, where you might want to have two microphones and then a stereo or two uh, mono headphone returns for monitoring. So you could set up and podcast from anywhere in the house if you need to be flexible or repurpose rooms, a guest bedroom, and you don't want to run big, thick multi-core and leave stage boxes or things running through the hallways for uh, animals and family members to trip on. So that's the Wallcat 8 and that's what it's all... Okay. So that's the Wallcat 8 and I think you know what it's all about now. It's capable of all the same stuff as the other products from Sound Tools. So AES3, analog audio, DMX, or intercom totally capable of doing that down these four channels and again this is four channels uh, with parallel we can see I'll do some close-ups of how this is wired this is a input and a through so an in and a through of the same uh, signal just like these uh, as they loop through and the connections from the male to female are just parallel here on the pcb so now that we know what it's all about, typically this would be the part of the video where I would install it and use it. And that was kind of the plan. I was going to cut into the walls and install it and wire up a couple of rooms in the house. But what would I be showing? I wouldn't be showing a whole lot. And realistically, I have enough cat boxes for my use and other products on hand. So we decided we wanted to give these to somebody that does need them, somebody that actually is in the middle of a project or has a space that could use them. 
and is willing to share that with us. So that's kind of the idea. Instead of me just arbitrarily putting them in to show some examples of them working, they obviously do work and they have the same warranty as all the other sound tool stuff. And no, everything is uh, warrantied for life. They stand behind this stuff. Uh, so let's see what you would use them for. So I included a link below to a form that you can fill out if you want to enter and let us know what you would use them for. If you have a project, if you have a space that you're using or you've repurposed or that could just use this kind of functionality and you're willing to share it with us in some short video clips, you can take them with your cell phone, but just once you get it installed, if you're willing to share it with us so everybody can see how you get along with it, what you think of it in your situation, as opposed to just seeing me demonstrate it. So hit the link below, fill out that form, and I'll pick somebody here soon. All the details will be in that link as to when to enter by and everything like that, because I haven't ironed all that out yet while I'm filming this. But check out the link below. We'll be sending out a pair of these. You'll have to provide your own cable because everybody's install is going to be different. You will just need some shielded uh, Cat5 or better cable, but I'll be sending out a pair of these Wallcat 8s and hopefully we'll get to see what one of you will do with them. So that's it for this one. I look forward to seeing all of the submissions and what you will want to use the Wallcat 8 for. Again, the one stipulation, the major stipulation with this is whoever we send them to needs to be able to share what they use them for in video form in the future. And that can be, again, just a simple video with your cell phone. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, but you do have to be willing to share your opinion down the line of how they worked out, what you're using them for, and that kind of stuff. So thanks again to everybody who watches. Be sure to check out down below in the link, the DC Sound Op shop for links to these and everything else I talk about in all the videos. I get asked a lot about the same kind of stuff, uh, what kind of gear I'd recommend for streaming, webcasting, podcasting, and those questions have become more frequent since everybody's been kind of figuring out what to do uh, in the moment and what to do next and how to apply their skills in different ways. So I've put together some kind of packages there of things that I recommend regularly to folks in those different areas. So be sure to check that out and I'll have more videos talking about that kind of stuff coming up real soon. We're going to get into more multimedia, more digital content creation, and what kind of skills we can take from. Thanks again. I'll see you soon. And be sure to hit the link and fill out uh, the form so you can get uh, entered for the Wallcat 8 giveaway. Talk to you next time.